Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the JSON generator in the create JSON module to create a JSON data structure using a sample JSON. I know lots of JSON there, but still better than saying JavaScript object notification, right? And then I'm going to show you how to modify the JSON data structure to make an HTTP request to a third party service, which isn't already supported by Integromat. In our example, we're going to use SendGrid. And further, this tutorial will also cover how to send an email using SendGrid directly from the HTTP module, as well as using a SendGrid template. So I'm going to start with this template here, which you can find under the template section by filtering by JSON. I'll first click on create new scenario from template and select my organization. And here we need to define the data structure. So we click on add and we click on generator. Our content type remains JSON since we're using a sample JSON. Now I'm going to head over to SendGrid's API docs and I'm going to copy the sample JSON from here and paste it under sample data over here and hit save. So the data structure has been generated. We're going to rename it and save it. Since you're using a template, you'll also see some pre-filled uh, fields over here, which can obviously modify and continue. And in the HTTP module, you will see most of it pre-filled here. The URL contains the request URL, which can be found over here on SendGrid. The request content contains the attribute from the from the JSON module. And header contains your API key. So you can find it in your SendGrid account. And we click on continue. And now the template is ready to go. To test it, we click on run once. And we see we've got an error, which is a 400 bad request which means that certain parameters are missing in our sample JSON. So we need to go and change the data structure. So I'm going to head over to, to SendGrid's API docs. And here you can see that these parameters are required. So we've already got personalizations from and subject. What we don't have is, is content. So we need to add content in our data structure. And content is an array with an object. So on Integromat, we head over to our uh, data structure, we click on this button here to edit the data structure. Now here we need to add an item, name it content. Since content is an array with an object, so basically it's a collection on Integromat. And here we need to uh, define the elements or the values. So we've got um, two elements here, type, which is a string, and value, which is also a string. So under, under specification, we need to add type, which is text, and another item, value, which is also text. And add it and save it. Now if you scroll down, you see the data structure has the new parameter content. Now we need to add the item. Now type is, is a MIME type. So you can see the information here. It can either be text plain or text HTML. And the value will be uh, the actual content of the email. So let's say we add text plain here, sorry. And the value, let's just say hey. We click OK. And now I'm going to run the scenario once. And there you go. It has uh, worked successfully and you can see the status code as 202, which means um, your scenario ran successfully and the HTTP request was made successfully. And um, I've just received an email on my email. Now we're going to head over to part two. So now in part two of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a template on SendGrid to send an email via Integromat. I'm going to head over to SendGrid and first you need to create a template. I've already created mine here and I need to copy this template ID from here. Now looking at the docs, we see we have a parameter called template ID, which is a string. So this needs to be added to our data structure. So I'm going to go back to our data structure, click on edit item, add item, 
name it template ID and leave it as text save it if you scroll down you see you have a template ID field and here you need to place the template ID that you got from SendGrid click OK and run the scenario and there you go it ran successfully status code is 202 and I just received an email which is basically a template which I had created now I'd like to add one more thing before I conclude this tutorial. If you head over to the JSON module, now we've got a template ID and content both. So SendGrid prioritizes templates. So if you have a template ID, it'll use that template to send the email. Um, while content is a required parameter, you can actually remove it altogether. So if you look at the docs and we read the description here, it says if you use a template that contains the subject and content, you do not need to specify those at the personalizations nor message level which means that we can remove the content parameter altogether uh, if you want to keep it then it can't be blank since it's a required parameter it needs to contain uh, values so let's try to just um, remove our content parameter altogether so i'm going to edit the data structure and delete it save it and run the scenario once and there you go, it still ran successfully. Status code is 202 and it just sent me an email using the template. So that's how uh, Send SendGrid's API works and such things um, really differ from service to service. So you need to keep this in mind. Um, thank you and I hope this tutorial has been helpful.